I could die within months to a few years. I'm not saying I was diagnosed with uh, disease or something like that. The health issues are there. However, I'm doing my best. I want to live at least another 20 years in this incarnation. If I live 40 years and a little bit more than that, if I live 40 years more plus a little less than two months, that would take me to 95. I think I can do quite well from 80 to 85. I think I can handle that. I think I can handle going into the 90s. We have to be realistic. The body does not last forever. I already had a heart attack. Hopefully it was a wake-up call rather than some underlying situation. Quit smoking, had the arteries opened up, that type of stuff. I would just like to have 20 years. 20 years. What's up with 20 years? When you're about 55, I'll be 55 soon. Get the coffee brewing up. It's not even 5 a.m. It's just about 5 a.m. I feel really good and happy. The sun should pop out soon. I don't really check for weather reports. I've got the coffee brewing there, so the sounds are piping in. I don't know how it's going to influence this audio. I don't like how I sound using the letter S, but I hear that everyone has the letter S, has issues with that, some worse than others. I used to chuck in a letter T when I was a toddler or into uh, heading toward regular guy school. It's weird to not have known that I had Asperger's. Better late than never makes sense. It now all makes sense. I hear every freaking sound. It doesn't matter if it's loud or soft. I think only other people with Asperger's know what I'm talking about. Or someone with the regularly scheduled noggin would have to be delivered the perfect analogy. Say you're trying to concentrate watching a movie or you're at a theater, whatever. You're trying to buy stuff in the supermarket. You hear it. You hear stuff. It knocks off your concentration immediately. There are pros and cons to Asperger's. But it's a struggle to have sounds coming in from left to right. Because we have the two ears on the left and the right. There are other senses, too. There can be overload with the other senses, too. We get itchy probably more than other people. Unless they have a skin condition. Stuff goes on repeat. People with Asperger's can get away and hide it. I didn't know what to say after get away. Get away with it? It's not about getting away with it. We can go on with our lives without being aware that we have it. Imagine unwanted light, unwanted sound, unwanted touch, unwanted taste. So the coffee is making that sound at the end where it's finishing up, it's percolating, and I want it to end. I want it to stop. It's like planes nonstop going over your head. You're under an air quarter. It never ends. You get away from the, that area with the plans, there'll be a dog. You'll have to deal with some dog every day. Just trying to come up with analogies. That coffee thing's still going. I imagine people without Asperger's can just keep talking while that keeps doing its thing. But the Aspie, we want to punch that coffee machine. We want to fucking kill that coffee machine because it's fucking annoying us. I talk like this just to let people inside of the mind of the Aspie. It's not that we lack empathy. You try having all that stuff funneling into your head every day. See how you perform in life. Last night I did a little more singing. I know perfect pitch. I know sound. I know what the notes are. I might not be able to say, oh, that's that note. That's a D sharp. Whatever. But the sound in itself, I know it. I'm an alligator. I'm a mama papa coming for you. 
I'm the space invader. I'll be a rock and rolling bitch for you. Keep your mouth shut. You're squawking like a pink monkey bird, and I'm busting up my brains for the words. Keep your electric eye on me, babe. Put your ray gun to my head. Press your space face close to mine, love. Freak out in a moon age daydream, oh yeah. Don't fake it, baby. Lay the real thing on me. The church of man love is such a holy place to be. Make me, baby. Make me know you really care. Make me jump into the air. Keep your electric eye on me, babe. Put your ray gun to my head. Press your space face close to mine, love. Freak out in a moon age daydream, oh yeah. Keep your electric eye on me, babe. Put your ray gun to my head. Press your space face close to mine, love. Freak out in a moon age daydream, oh. Keep your electric eye on me, me, babe. Put your ray gun to my head. Press your space face close to mine, love. Freak out in a moon age daydream, oh yeah. Freak out, freak out. Far out, far out. In out, in out, in out. I was in band, I learned trumpet. I even learned slide trombone. I was pretty good at the baritone horn, more colloquially known as can't say that word colloquially, whatever that word is, but it's known as uh, a, a euf euphonia. Damn, I can't even remember the word. And it could be one of those weird words where the grammar, you have to use the A instead of A-N in front of it, even though it's a vowel. So it's one of those exceptions to the rule. With Aspies, we tend to go off topic. We tend to digress. We can't help it. But when we know our topics, when we know our stuff, no one does it better. I want to sing, I think a Linda Ronset, Curly Simon. I don't know what I'm thinking. Nobody does it better. I suppose if I had gone professional as a singer, I would have been a Carol Burnett styled fake singer. Or maybe she was the, a real singer. But there's, uh, there are real singers and there are fake singers. I think we know what we're saying here, even though it's me saying it. We don't know exactly who we is. We are. Look, I know notes. I know what it means to be in tune. That's probably what I was trying to say. I had cataracts. I couldn't see for months. I had side effects to it. I'm over those now, but there was a time when I really couldn't use the eyes too much. So I started singing. I had never sung before. I thought I couldn't do it. Now I'm positive I can do it. I know I'm not great at it because I'm winging it. I'm having fun. But I also think I am doing it. I am hitting the notes. I am finding what I sound like. I think it's too easy to try to mimic other people so you don't really end up with your own singing voice. I think that's what was up with Atlian Childs. He learned music, but he never learned to be himself. So he's always mimicking others. 